Hey, this is Mark and I am here at my studio, the Action Figuratorium. And this is another episode of Catch and Release where I tell the world what it is that I, a real big fan of collecting toys, am going to be releasing onto the world through a series of eBay auctions. So stick around for the full list of what you can expect to see up for sale from the collection. <laughs> Okay, here are the rules for catch and release. Number one, my username on eBay is CoolBots with a Z. Feel free to look me up, follow, and uh, see what auctions I have going. Number two is these are Dutch auctions. If I put something up for sale and it doesn't sell within the first, you know, 15 days, maybe first time of 30 days through, I will drop the price. I'll take it down. It's gonna keep going down until it gets to where it needs to go. Okay, number three is if you actually end up being somebody who buys something from me, let me know through the Ebays and I'll make sure to include a special tchotchke just for you. Okay, let's get into, uh, I have my list over here, if you're wondering what I'm looking at. Let's get into what is uh, going to be up for sale. So we're going to start off with this um, uh, Stormtrooper Pez. I have a bunch of other Pez up for sale, including a Boba Fett with some other crap. This guy should have went with them. He just happened to be loose. So I'm pricing him on his own, but it's crap. We'll take whatever. In fact, we'll probably throw him in with that other auction. But uh, if you want just the Stormtrooper Pez for 10 bucks, let me know. I'll make sure to put something uh, extra cool in it that'll make it worth it. Okay, next up, this is a Stickfa horse uh, saddle. If you are familiar with the uh, Stickfas, it's a brand or a type of form fact uh, factor of action figure. Hasbro actually makes them. I, uh, I think they're no longer in production, but there's so many of them out there that it feels like they're still in production. I have a video I did specifically describing uh, the phenomenon of stick fuzz and what they are. And this is a saddle to one of the stick fuzz horses. It actually came with a samurai that I bought secondhand and it did not include the horse, uh, but I got the saddle on the tree. So 10 bucks if you're a stick fuzz person and you have a horse, this is your dog. All right, let's move on to the $20 range. This is a thrift store rescue. It's been sitting around my house for 101 years. Actually, I don't know. I don't know anything about Doctor Who in terms of what doctor we're on right now. I think we're on like the 40th doctor. I don't know. This is the 12th doctor. This is the actual doctor from the, uh, from the series itself. And it's new in the box. $20 goes out to you. Let's move on. This is a Galactic Heroes package, also a thrift store rescue. Probably picked it up at a Goodwill by my house, sat on the shelf. I can't even remember when I got it. Anyways, it's taking up space. It's stupid. It needs to go. If you love Cad Bane and Aura Singh, I don't know who any of these characters are, $20 is a good price because the next cheapest one is $27. Get it today. Put in the details you saw the show. Tchotchke coming out to you. All right. Keeping it together, keeping it real. A uh, Tokidoki Unicorno. This is part of my art toy collection. I've got a few art toys going up for sale, including this guy. Um, I think you can get the same one in this color from some other vendors. Don't care, buy mine, it needs to go, needs a home, needs your home. As always, details Chachki. Here is some more uh, vinyl, uh, vinyl art toys, designer art toys, Kid Robot. This is a Joe Ledbetter, Sabretooth and Kitty Pillar. This is the set for 20 bucks. I think that's a pretty good deal. If you collect this stuff, you can think that's right in the pocket. Uh, this is a, um, I think this is a key, uh, Q-E-E, -E and, um, or key, or is that not what I just said? Anyways. Uh, this is made by Gary Baseman. This is his Eggman character guy. Um, this is pretty weird. I picked it up with some other kid robot stuff. I didn't specifically buy this piece. It came in with a lot of other toys, so I don't really know anything about it, but it's it's pretty weird. And for 40 bucks, um, 
this is only going to get more rare and weirder. It's going to go up. So if anybody doesn't buy it, I'm cool sticking with these guys. Okay, this next thing is, uh, is a toy that I collected for myself. It is a Betty Page 6-inch figure. I did an unboxing video of this toy. I happen to have, in the process of trying to get one, because she's 6-inch, she's Egyptian theme, right? Goes with all my, you know, my Egyptian stuff that I got ruined. Um, I ended up with a couple of these. So here's an extra one. Um, 40 bucks new in the package. Moving along, this guy, Spy vs. Spy. I told you guys in a previous video that I'm looking for the set of Spy vs. Spy action figures. They're about five inches or so. Um, there's a black and white one, and there's the variant. It's silver. It's this guy. This is the guy with all the stuff, and I'm selling it to get money to pay for a black and white set. That's the deal. First, I was going to buy another one and maybe paint it gold. I'm just going to sell the silver one as is. It has all the accoutrements, everything you need. 40 bucks. Um, if it's too much, wait a bit. It'll come down. All right, we're going to end with this, art toys. Who doesn't love art toys? This is a David Cho uh, Munko, a Munko the Whale. This is actually produced not by Kid Robot. I know you're thinking it's Kid Robot. Not everything is Kid Robot, OK? This is Good Smile Company. Remember those guys? They still exist. They're out there. And let me tell you something. They have a lot of people making bootleg stuff. But this is not bootleg because this is too weird for bootleg. And it's with all this other crap that I got. So this guy, David Cho, the Munko Whale. We're going to do this one, the White Whale, right? That's the one that goes into a casino and wipes it out. This guy, $99. Buy it now. It's a steal at that. But you mentioned that you saw it here. And a chachi is going to come with this that's going to make it worth every bit of $99. So with that, thanks for sticking all the way to the end through all 10 items coming up. I still have some toys from previous catch and release videos that are still up for sale. If you go back and watch them, you'd be surprised what's still available. Still a couple dogs out there you can get like uh, there's like a 3.75 Captain America and I think there's like a 3.4 inch Batman. There's <clears throat> Superman and Black Alpha. There's some cool action figures. If you're like, yeah, it's all art toys. Where's the action figures? They're up on the eBay. They're 10 bucks or less. They're calling out for you. So uh, with that, I'll catch you guys on the next one.